Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with a collective haul video of a few things that I've picked up over the last few weeks, last few weeks or last month. Uh, I just wanted to share this with you because I really like watching these videos and I thought it'd be fun to group it all together. I know I said I was on ban. I am editing that and saying that I was on bag ban and from this video onwards we're gonna call it an inclusive Louis Vuitton band too. Maybe. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Definitely no more handbags but we'll monitor the issue with SLGs. So there is something small that I picked up at Louis Vuitton in this haul. I know, but you'll understand why when you see. So I guess jumping right into it, there are just a few articles of clothing that I picked up that some, well, some of these I haven't worn yet, but I really like them. And then this piece that I'm holding right here, I bought a few weeks ago, but I've really been loving it and I just wanna share. This is a jean jacket that I got from J. Crew. And I got this, they emailed, and I think it was like additional 30% off, not additional, it was like 30% off certain items for card members. And so I got this. This jacket retailed for uh, $128, and it's just like a great basic jean jacket. I had been looking for one for a while since the trend has kind of come back. And I've really been enjoying this. I don't feel like putting it all the way on, so you'll just have to get the idea like this which is actually how I've been enjoying it, wearing it in warmer weather, because it's like, I'm not fully committed to wearing this jacket, but I'm still a little cold, which is probably how I normally am, but, and I just, I've really been liking the color and the wash, and just that there aren't too many details. I feel like a lot of the jean jackets I saw had too much going on, or were too light or too dark, and I think this was just like a good, happy medium that I've really been enjoying wearing, mostly because well, especially because I mostly wear black and I think it's just nice to add a little lightness to it and this has been kind of like my call to the 90s look. You're gonna be like, girl, you need to get out of the 90s. It is actually 2015 when you see this haul, but this actually kind of is like a 2000 slash 90s themed haul. It's pretty great. The next things I bought uh, were from All Saints and I got a really good deal on this stuff so I ordered online with All Saints and they have free overnight shipping if you're an Amazon Prime member and I was really excited about that and I ordered and there was all these problems with it and it didn't dispatch and then they didn't have the shirt I wanted and then they like didn't send it to me and they refunded me but then they were having a sale and I saw the shirt on there and I bought it again and then I had an additional 20% off coupon for all of the mistakes that happened with my original order so I ended up getting some stuff for like that was already on sale for like another 30% off and so saving like 50% one of the things that I picked up was this shirt and I have one similar to this this is like a feather detail it's called the Puma Dream T and it, the retail price is $85, but I only paid $40, $44.50, no, $44.80 for this shirt. And I've just really been enjoying that one that I showed in uh, another shopping haul a while back. And so since this one was on sale and then I had the additional price off, I decided to pick it up because it's just really easy with leggings or, you know, skinny jeans to like throw this on and then you can kind of dress it up or dress it down and it's, I have a casual enough office where I could wear this to work with like nicer pants and boots or something. So as long as like the rest of my look is a little bit more conservative, I can wear something a little bit more edgy like this. So I thought that was a really good buy. I also got this. This is a melon tank. And so this is just a basic black tank top, kind of like muscle tee, definitely very 90s. Um, and it has this cute little twist detail at the bottom here. So it kind of, it, it isn't totally like basic. It has like this little extra something on there. And this one retailed for 50, but I ended up getting it for something like 27, 27 something. So almost 50% off. That was pretty good. The next tee I got was this, this is like a burnout slight, also kind of muscle tee with like an uneven 
it's longer in the back and shorter in the front and I really like this kind of like it's light but like edgy and just comfy and I wear all black all the time and this is the Drake D top and this was retails for 85 and I got it for 4720 and then finally this is like my favorite buy and I'm so excited about this because I've been waiting to buy a jacket like this for a long time this is a leather jacket from All Saints I've been looking at their leather jackets for a long time and a lot of YouTuber, bleh, YouTubers that I watch like Essie Button and HRH have them and they look really nice and I just wanted to find the right one and then I found this one and then with all the discounts I got such a good deal on it. I really like it. This one doesn't have too much hardware. I'm just going to put it on. I'm going to commit to this one. So it has, it's kind of like a moto jacket with like these larger flaps here and it has like the uneven zip up this way and it has zippers on the sleeves here and a little belt detail on the side. Oh, I'm going to take it off now so I don't, here. And I really like this one because the pockets are slip pockets so you can stick your hands in them to keep them warm. And this jacket retailed for $650. Okay. And then with the sale and the extra coupon that I used, I ended up paying $364. So I'm really excited about that. That's like, that's like 50% off basically. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm really, really excited. It hasn't been that warm in California for the summer so far. And you know, we can have the thing about California is it doesn't matter how warm it is during the day. It's always like 50 degrees at night. Like we don't have that thing. Like in New York, when I visited New York last summer, you know, it would be like, you know, 80 degrees during the day and then like 85 overnight. And I was like, I do not understand this. In California, the situation is no matter where you go, you bring a jacket because it's always going to get cold at night. I don't know. There you go weather weather this is like some good weather a small talk for you anyway I'm really excited about this jacket I haven't worn it yet it smells so good and I just like that it's you know it's kind of shorter and cropped but it's I feel like there isn't too much going on if you go on to All Saints and look there's some jackets with a lot of stuff going on and I'm not that cool I'm not at that level I just wanted like motorcycle style but like very basic and so I'm really happy with this and that's very exciting um yeah so I uh, I know I was just saying that I'm not that cool <laughs> but I bought something else that's also total 90s I'm gonna look like I'm dressed for a costume party I'm just like with my leather jacket or my jean jacket and these sunglasses I love these sunglasses so I picked these up well I was on a mission after I saw these are Dior sunglasses um, I was on a mission after I saw the Rihanna advertorial or is it just an ad whatever the picture of Rihanna with like the silver Dior bag and these so real sunglasses I just I died I needed them so I went over and there are a bunch of different colorways and all of the colorways are a different price. Okay, first I'm just going to show them to you. So it's like these kind of definitely super 90s round sunglasses with like a silver reflective. I'm calling it an eyebrow even though it's I think more like an eyelid. And I put up a photo of Instagram of me wearing these glasses the other day and I'm just like these glasses are life and I'm rocking my um, Dior earrings and I think it's just like I know I said I was not cool but now I'm just like pretending like I'm cool <sighs> I'm very excited about these so these are one of the items where I'm like I should have been on ban but I just picked them up and I'm glad that I did because all of the different colorways are different prices these are an old like an older colorway I'm pretty sure because these these are black with silver I also tried on black with like a blue eyebrow and those were 545 these ones retailed for 505 which now seems like super low 
I'm pretty sure they were last season because and then I went on to Nordstrom's uh, website to try and link to these glasses for you guys and like they were like oh those glasses there was like not an actual price listed there was like a range of prices and it was like between 545 and 595 which just seems crazy so I feel like I think Dior is one of the worst people no like they're one of the if something gets popular from Dior they're one of the first people to jack up the price like these Dior pearl earrings when I got them I think they were like $300 or something and now they're like $500 I think like the price really did go up that much after they started getting popular it's craziness so I'm not I would I mean $500 is already a lot for sunglasses I know normally I think I'm very good about getting classic pieces and these are just something I fell in love with and my friend was like you have to have sometimes you just you can't help it anyway so they came with this little pouch here this little soft pouch and then a square Dior box and it has the cleaning cloth and stuff down inside and then they put my Nordstrom in case I ever want to return it sticker inside Nordstrom is the best dang return policy in the world I can't see myself parting with these though I'm very excited about them Okay. Oh, a couple other things from Dior. Um, in the Rihanna ad campaign, she's wearing like three different Dior lipsticks uh, to make that color. I am not that cool. I just picked one and this is the Rouge Dior 743. And I'm wearing this color right now and this is the packaging. And this is... Uh, let me just wipe that off for you. I've been wearing this. This isn't like a reveal or this is a reveal, not an unboxing. There you go. There's the color. This is what it looks like on. I've been really enjoying it. I think it's really creamy. It hasn't been drying and the color stays really well. I also got upsold the dang makeup counter because they were sold out of this lipstick at like three different counters I went to. And then by the time I got to Macy's, I was so weak from my search that I totally got upsold with a Dior Show Brow Styler, which I've actually been enjoying, but I didn't need. It comes in one color, Universal Brown, which I don't think it would actually be universal because my hair is a little bit lighter and my brows are a little bit lighter, but it's this cool little twist up pencil with like a little spoolie at the end, so that's been fun. Okay, finally, if you made it this far, try and hurry up. I couldn't help it. I had to go to Louis Vuitton and get this. I couldn't handle the uncertainty of this being discontinued and if you've seen my collection videos or like my clay video you'll know. We'll just, un we'll just reveal it and then we'll talk about it. I got a multicolor cosmetic pouch in the white. So I have the black multicolor clay, which I don't use, and I don't have any white multicolor. And the, just the more I thought about it being discontinued and not having a chance to buy it, the more like sad I got. I used to be obsessed with multicolor when I was in high school and I just I felt like I wanted a piece of white too I know it's silly this I think I'm going to use on my vanity my vanity on my dresser to um, so, like keep my bracelets in instead of having them spread all over the counter and so I'm not gonna carry it in my bag it's just gonna be like a little decoration dish type thing I think it's so beautiful and happy and I'm so glad I got it. I, when I texted my essay, she's like, there are five more left in the country. Like, if you want it, let me know and we'll, we'll get it. The other stores that had it were on the East Coast and they wouldn't do a normal transfer. I had to like buy it over the phone with them and then they shipped it to the Louis Vuitton store. So it was kind of intense. Anyway, here's the details. These are like 
going like hotcakes. I was surprised to see, however, that this little piece was made in the 18th week of 2015. So there are still some, I think, in production, but like we're looking at the bottom of the barrel now, people. So if you want to be on the multicolor train, now is the, ch the chance, now is your chance, now is the time, act now, do not wait. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Okay, she's made in France, the beautiful lychee lining, and this is my favorite color, pink, and I, with the multicolor, my favorite color, I mean, you're like, Maddie, you just got it, this is not your favorite color. Silliness, I know. I just, I am glad to have this piece in my collection. I am glad to have it for decoration, and I just can rest now knowing that I didn't miss out. I was starting to have FOMO seeing everyone's cute little multicolor collections. And so now I have one of each and I'll stop and I'll be on van. Anyway, there we go. No more guilt. I'll just feel good about it. This retailed for $460 here in the States plus tax. I paid California tax on it, which is a lot now. It doesn't say. I think it's like 9%. Varies by county. Yeah, anyway, so this was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it because there should not be a lot more coming in the future. I have a few trips I need to save up for and I should just be enjoying the things that I have and maybe looking at my collection more closely and seeing like what do I really need to keep, what needs to go and all that kind of stuff. So we'll do some summer cleaning spring cleaning coming up here i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave any comments down below don't forget to subscribe and like it and all of that good business thank you so much to all my current subscribers you guys are awesome seriously awesome i never imagined that people would actually want to watch videos that i made i thought i would just make it for fun and i just started making them because at the end of every video that Laura from Have Louis Will Travel did, she would say, you know, if you don't have a channel or you're thinking about making videos, I tag you to do this. And so, I don't know, it just spoke to me. I thought that was really cool. And so I'm just, I want to say if you don't make videos yet, but you're thinking about it, I encourage you to do it. I want to see your videos. So with that, I will leave you. Have a great day and I will talk to you later, guys. Bye!